How you doing? My name is Chef Brett Michael Lloyd and I'm the Simple Chef and today we're going to be doing a pepper crusted steelhead salmon with some potato carpaccio and some vodka greens. So let's get started. So what we're going to do right now is I got a beautiful piece of steelhead right here. It's in season right now too so it's great. And I'm just going to take the skin off quick. Now I have two cutting boards here because I still want to use this one later because I don't want to contaminate everything. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come on the angle like this. You see I'm using a piece of paper towel. This way I can get some grip on the skin. Once you've got your knife into where you think it has to be, you just hold it and basically all you're going to do is you're just going to move the fish. So just like this. So see, you see right here I got her coming up and now we're just going to come through like this. It's like a violin motion and there we go. And look, we can make a pair of boots. It's good times. So I'm just going to take care of this here like this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this beautiful piece of steelhead here. I got some peppercorn right here with a little bit of salt. I'm just going to crust it in here like this. Now, to crust it up, you can use the ground stuff, but I personally always grind my own. The one thing I have to tell you is when you're grinding it, make sure they're not in big, big chunks because nothing would suck worse than getting a big chunk of peppercorn when you're biting into a nice piece of salmon. So, I'm going to take a little bit of canola oil here, put it into our hot pan. And there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this beautiful piece of salmon, Brush off any excess here. Oh, it looks pretty with the red and the black. It looks great. And we're just going to put it in. Presentation side down first. And we're just going to let this start pan frying. This will take about probably three minutes. I'm going to just turn on the heat a bit so it doesn't start on fire on us. I'm just going to let this cook for about probably two minutes and I'll flip it and probably give it another two minutes to set the pan. Salmon should never be well, well done. It should be about a medium is where it should actually be. So I'm just going to clean up this and we're going to start making our carpaccio and setting up our greens. All right, so now we're going to start making our carpaccio and start setting up our stuff for our greens. So, got some, if you happen to have some leftover potatoes, I don't know, maybe from doing a salad or something, this is what you can do with them. So I'm just going to do this, clean up this plate here a bit. There we go. So, you can do the carpaccio with your knife. By all means you can. I'm going to use what we call a mandolin. This is actually a Japanese style mandolin. Now, some people are very scared by this and it can catch you really bad, so please have care when you use it. So I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna take one peel off, take a look, yeah, that's looking good. Now, capaccio in Italian means thinly sliced. Usually it refers to beef capaccio. There we go. Just nice, thin slices. So I'm gonna flip the, our beautiful steelhead here too while we're at it. Oh. And now to start arranging everything on our plate. So I got my thin slices of potato. I'm just gonna start arranging it down here. This would be a really good uh, lunch item. If we're in a pinch, maybe having some people over for like a Saturday afternoon, late lunch. Lupper, we'll call it lupper. Maybe they're coming over for lupper. This is a good dish. It's gonna kind of fill in the spaces here a bit. So it looks, there we go, all right. Now, coming along great, there we go. So I'm gonna set these aside. Let's take our beautiful green beans here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna French them, which means I'm gonna cut them in half. There we go. There we go. Some shallots, because hey, it's in French cooking, it's in everything, so it's good. Some nice shallots. There we go. There we go. And of course, our star of the of our vinaigrette, our, our Smirnoff vodka, triple distilled vodka. Yay! I got a small bottle because that's all we need for this. So, my salmon is almost done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this out onto the cutting board here and just let it rest for a couple seconds. That looks just gorgeous. Now I'm gonna use the same pan. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my green beans my shallots. I'm going to put, see how I put the oil near the bottom here? I'm just going to put this near the top. There we go. It's a nice flipping action here going. It doesn't take long, right? Because green beans, they're beautiful when they're done like this. So I'm going to get this out of the way. There we go. And of course, see, I need to make a vinaigrette, we need to import some acid. So I'm going to use some lemon. 
So once again, some people will be like, hey, why are you cutting this on the angle like this, chef? The reason why is because we're creating surface area and breaking down the segmentation of the lemon. So I'm gonna hit it with my beautiful little bit of vodka here. Put the lighter on fire. There we go. Oh, that is gorgeous. Right there, that's what we're talking about here. So, now to plate this up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our beautiful piece of steelhead just like that. This would be a great light lunch for some people here. And you know what, we don't even really need a lot of garnish or anything because the reason why, it's just pretty on its own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put this over top. Oh, and there we go. I'm just gonna go like this with the vinaigrette because that's what we want. All over our beautiful, beautiful steelhead. There we go. So there is our pepper crusted steelhead on potato capacho with vodka vinaigrette and greens. Enjoy. Um, you can. Check out re more recipes like this on my website at www.simplechef.ca um, or you can just get a hold of me for a private class or a private dinner party. Enjoy!